Good morning, guys. Happy Manic Monday. You know, giving God thanks for life as usual. And y'all know that Monday is not exactly my favorite time of the week. But anyway, um, speaking of Manic, we're going to kick off this commentary with the second match in the double header played on Friday. Because that, that amply describes, you know, what, what transpired. So the schools featured were the True Blues, Jamaica College versus Heidel versus Heidel. No being a new entrant into the competition being Heidel. One would naturally expect that, you know, that they would they're that they're the underdogs. So um, with that assumption in mind, as usual, PJ is looking in front of the screen and say, yeah, JC I got clap this. Yeah, JC I got run over this. Feels like deja vu like with Dyke Arden and Middlebrook. This is almost exactly the same thing that transpired, people. Before we even touch on that, let me first say that Heidel, I have a newfound respect for you. Because I really judged you um, being an, an, a new entrant. I had you guys as being not just only an underdog, but I would I assumed that you would have been, you know, you, you wouldn't have performed as well. Come on talk about GSC you now. Cause GSC you know all them cancer side more time. No GSC have a history. I remember Mona came on the map because of the match that they played a couple of years ago. I think it was 2017 or 2016. Where where Mona totally Mona Mona done them. Mona did done them and I saw Mona come from my map in terms of ratings. Come and say, yo, them take down GSC, them proper like that. Then we move into last year with St. Hughes. Remember when you string them up, hang them up alive? Yeah? Remember that match that it did hot, but yo, it did sweet. So I said, all right, all right, I'll, you know, make us walk on with JC. So the team this year from JC, I love them. I love, I love what I see so far. I love the traction. I love how the, the man them move with urgency. What year were them up? Here were up now. Keyless. Keylessness again. They had, I think it was, a, they had a, a seven point, they had a seven point lead. They had a seven point lead going into the buzzer section. And as we say, that, with that in mind, we said, Cho, this is, a, this is a giveaway. So as usual, we get up with my long belly self, say, I'm going to pick some for drink. So I'm going to the fridge, we're going to pick up some for juice and for drink and come back. When we come back to write it, we say, oh, and they, we say, hi, then. Pass out JC. I think Heidel was, was on 28 and JC and I don't remember what the score was. But Heidel did pass out JC. I'm like, no, sir. JC can't sell people. So me sit down there and say, me, me see if me I forgot go play the Whitney Houston song as the response to JC losing again. You know? Remember the one from last year where JC sing, you know? If I should stay. I don't need yeah, but no me can't sing, but me I try to think. Yeah? Don't vote for me. Next rising star. <laughs> but anyway, the long and short people, then take them time and come back around. JC started the buzzer section on 29. And they ended the buzzer section on 29. Which means uh, no not much progress. Sick of carelessness, people. So here what me I tell you now. Dress up on yourself. Dress up on yourself for the next round because I like that team, yeah. Yeah. Um, Heidel, they ended on 20. They put up a noble effort. So kudos to you guys and hoping to see you guys next year. Yeah? Big up on yourself. 